super duper delicious. Have you ever heard of a dish ending a war? Lombo beef is the best in Indonesia. This is the home of beautiful terasi lombok. It makes everything so umami. The locals say, in life, choose simple food made from your own effort rather than luxurious fare that tastes insincere. Lombok is renowned for its warm, welcoming people who cook from the heart. Add to this, Kuta Mandalika with its amazing beaches, new resorts, and international race circuit. And there's even more reason to visit. The name Lombok originally meant straight or seaway, but across Indonesia, it has another meaning, chili. Chili? That means all the dishes must be spicy. Yes, fierce hot with a great story to boot. In 1630 AD, when the kingdom of Salaparang in Lombok and Karangasem from Bali were at war, Rambiga village was chosen as a place to negotiate peace. The chefs created Ayam Taliwang, which brought the people together and peace was restored. Food for peace. Ayam Taliwang is a grilled chicken street food favorite that is made with free-range spring chicken and a special paste called Bumbu Taliwang. The sauce can be insanely spicy, but the combination of spicy, smoky, sweet, salty flavors is worth the burn. Essential to the marinade is the special terasi lombo or belacan, which uses the freshest prawns mixed with salt and it's left to ferment for two weeks. The first time I taste terasi lombok, I knew it was something special. This marinade is very fiery. In fact, many non-sasak find it too hot to handle. It's similar to peri-peri, but with an extra kick. The traditional way of cooking ayam taliwang involves splitting the chicken open without cutting it right through. The chicken is rubbed down with salt and lime before being grilled over coconut shells to impart a beautiful aroma before it's seasoned with bumbu taliwang and grilled once more until you smell that rich, smoky aroma. In the old days, customers would often wait two hours for their orders and the chicken was so fresh and the cooks were still trying to catch them. This is my favorite dish in Lombok. This is comfort food, Indonesian style. So true, Yuda. Could there be anything more satisfying than a classic chicken meal? Well, how about this next best ever dish? It is succulent, tender, and a creation fit for kings and queens. The history of Sate Rambiga goes way back to the 17th century and can be traced to Rambiga village where the kings would gather. The name Rambiga comes from the word Rambuk, meaning together. It may have started out as a dish for kings, but today it has become a dish for all with its delicious flavor and supremely succulent beef. Beef is the pride of Lombok. The region's savanna provides the perfect pasture for cattle grazing, resulting in grass-fed and organic cattle. This sata is so tender, it just melts in your mouth. Sweet, smoky, savory, fiery. This is one of the moose half dish. Like a lot of Indonesian food, satay rambiga is about getting the right balance of flavor. It needs to be sweet, spicy, and smoky. That's right. Satay rambiga is all about the balance of spice. Sabi belek, a big, juicy red local chili, is mixed in the marinade with palm sugar, garlic, shallot, blatan, tamarind water, and coriander seed. The beef is wrapped in papaya leaves and set aside for one to two hours before being smothered in that beautiful marinade and grilled over a charcoal fire until just done. So get in line. Lombo cuisine paved the way for peace, evolving to become a democratic food uniting everyone. Join us for more wonderful culinary adventures with love from Indonesia's best ever eats.